good morning everyone uh, we have been learning about uh, the measurement or measurement of the various process variables such as the viscosity and the level level measurement in the viscosity we have used um, uh, uh, we have used a redwood viscometer to measure uh, to measure the viscosity and we have learned the construction the working of the redwood viscometer in our last session and we have also learned about the level measurements um, how the level measurement is been measured by the indirect level uh, method and also the direct level method so direct level method only we use a side glass method and the hook type uh, level indicator we have learned the two uh, the instruments how it uh, the level is being measured by using the, uh, these two and also in the indirect uh, method we have uh, in met, um, learned about the pressure gauge method and also the a perch uh, system so in continuation with the flow measurement of the uh, process variables today we will learn in this session about the humidity measurement so humidity measurement and the methods yavudella yeah, ide humidity measurement alli and the psychometric chart and the uh, and the dew point method and the some of the references which has been made and also the youtube videos link has also been given um, based on these topics so um, measurement of humidity of the moisture in the gases for in any uh, for any yavudu and the process industry il thagondaga nam raw material use maadi product tagoltivi a product before launching into the um, uh, in the market so there are various uh, the the parameters has to be uh, measured so uh, the one of the parameter is nothing but uh, the moisture content also has to be measured in a finished uh, product um a moisture content na hogodike na ven use maartivi uh, drying process na carry out maartivi so drying is operation is been um, uh, is been done in order to take out the moisture in in that particular product after the process so a one the drying medium alli na medium madodike there are various uh, drying mediums so gas is one of the drying medium which is been um, used in industrial operation so uh, uh, gas in a drying medium use madadaga so what is the moisture of the drying medium also uh, node uh, determination is very important so um, the, uh, the determination of the moisture content in the gases becomes a um, uh, very important in any process industry in order to give a the qualitative end product so there are various methods of moisture measurement of gases so psychometric method hygroscopic method and the dew point method and the chemical method so these are the four uh, the various uh, methods of measurement of the gases so how ex exactly it is been measured we will go one by one in a psychometric method you, um, you have an instrument called psychrometer which contains uh, two thermometers one is dry bulb thermometer and the wet bulb thermometer so um, it is been um, um, used to measure the uh, the moisture in a uh, um, of a drying medium so yellow temperature barutte so a temperature na yellow temperature wet bulb mathe dry temperature barutte thermo temperature baruthe avellu temperature use maadkondu psychometric uh, chart na use maadkondu we will measure we will measure the relative uh, so the, the specific humidity or the percent uh, humidity na measure maadabodu by psychometric method using the psychometric chart we are measuring the um, the what the uh, moisture content or the humidity um, of that particular dry medium which have used any particular process industry in hygroscopic material we now uh, a bundle of uh, hygroscopic material na use martivi in order to absorb the moisture content of the uh, the gas which is used as a drying medium so like air membrane use maadabodu hygroscopic material agi athwa paper na use maadabodu athwa wood uh, use maadabodu so one uh, the bundle of these hygroscopic material uh, one end is been fixed and other is uh, end is been uh, uh, attached to the pointer which moves on the calibrated scale uh, uh, which is uh, calibrated scale will be in turn um, calibrated in terms of uh, the saturation percent athwa uh, relative humidity percent age calibrate agirutte so on um, the on passing of the gas uh, the moisture is be, um, the moisture which is present in the gas is being absorbed by these uh, hygroscopic materials like aluminum membrane paper or wood 
uh, on absorption uh, they either uh, the hygroscopic material will either uh, expand or compress um, expand will either expand or compress thereby you have a uh, the pers uh, the um, compress agos in the the pointer end attach agirutte that will move on to the um, onto the calibrated scale to indicate uh, the, the relative saturation percent or the relative humidity percent so in a uh, what is the next dew point method so dew point method ali you have a thermometer so which is been uh, enclosed in a metal tube ali enclosed agirutte a metal tube uh, mele you have a uh, what the, the glass cloth which is been saturated with the lithium chloride and it is been wound on a silver wire silver wire so the uh, the dry medium is been um, sent passed on to this um, setup so the moisture which is present in the drying medium is absorbed by the uh, absorbed by the the salt so less moisture content is uh, on absorption there will be a flow of current the flow um, absorption it will be uh, the flow of current and the system will be heated up so that uh, he, um, will be indicated in the um, temperature uh, recorder so increase in the or decrease in the moisture of the salt depends upon the moisture in the gas which is to be measured so this is how the dip or dew point method is being carried out in order to measure the relative saturation percent or the relative humidity percent or the specific humidity so chemical method ali we use a chemical like sulfuric acid um, um, uh, which absorbs the moisture Uh, moisture and the gas whose moisture content is to be measured is also weight. So the difference in both the difference in weight of the chemical and the weight of the gas gives a percent of moisture present in the gas. So this is the chemical method uh, we use in order to measure the moisture humidity, the moisture content of the gas. So before go understanding, uh, before going to each uh, the method of explanation with the with an equipment we will understand some of the basic terms so what is absolute humidity what is specific humidity what is uh, the density what is relative humidity so the absolute humidity is nothing but weight of the vapor it is the ratio of the weight of the vapor per unit weight of the dry gas so specific humidity and the ratio of the weight of the vapor to the weight of the mixture of the gas and the vapor that is a specific humidity So the density of the vapor and the weight of the vapor uh, to the uh, the uh, vo vo volume of the um, to the volume. So relative humidity is nothing but ratio of an actual partial pressure of the vapor in the gas to the saturation of the partial pressure. So these are the various uh, the definitions you have to remember, the various terms you have to remember. So dew point and rain. Uh, it is a saturation temperature of the mixture at the corresponding vapor pressure. Now, when the particular vapor pressure, only um, saturation temperature in agar the, when the mixture do that will be called as a dew point. Dry bulb temperature and then it is the temperature of the gas mixture as measured by the ordinary temperature measuring element like thermometer. So the ordinary thermometer in the in temperature na measure marte go. So other na na when the karite be dry bulb temperature the karite be. wet bulb temperature and it is a temperature measured by the thermometer in which uh, the thermometer bulb is covered by the wick and it is fully wet with the same liquid in the mixture so wet bulb thermometer it is similar to the dry bulb thermometer but the bulb of the um, covered with a, um, a liquid um uh, it is been covered with a uh, uh, liquid uh, or it is it is been wet with a uh, uh, liquid um, Uh, the wick uh, is fully wet with the uh, same liquid in the mixture so wet bulb uh, dip, uh, depression and it is the difference between the dry bulb and the wet bulb temperature that is the wet bulb depression so you can observe the psychometric chart how it exactly looks you can see the x axis dry bulb temperature and the y axis you can see the specific humidity or the um, or the moisture um, specific humidity in grams moisture or the kilograms of the dry air this is specific humidity so these red lines um, in the blue lines idiyala ee blue lines en indicate madutha relative humidity indicate madutha so this first line is of um, 10% second line is of 20% and third line is 
is so on so 40 60 80 100 percent relative humidity so the the slanting red lines towards the y axis will be equal, will indicate the the wet bulb uh, temperature the wet bulb temperature and the enthalpy uh, the kilo uh, in kilojoules per kg of the dry air these are the red lines so uh, green line the green line will indicate the specific volume the specific volume so the vertical lines will indicate uh, the dry bulb temperature so dry bulb temperature so this red line will um, the, the slanting red line will indicate the wet bulb temperature and also the enthalpy so either green line in indicate the specific volume in, in, uh, indicate um, the blue line indicate the latent humidity in, uh, um, indicate the I mean, or is, uh, the vertical lines will uh, give you um, the dry bulb uh, temperature so vertical line will give you the dry bulb temperature so by using this chart uh, knowing the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature the, um, you can find out the what um, the, uh, the specific humidity for example if the dry bulb temperature 25 uh, degree centigrade is uh, the will call it on line a vertical line hack by co wet bulb temperature on the 20 degree then the illi on the slanting line mele correspondence that over by co so yeah yeah the vertical line of the slanting like me target this corresponding horizontal line to towards the uh, the y-axis will give you the specific humidity of that uh, uh, the drying medium which is being used in a psychometric method So what we exactly call this is a chart which represents the relative relationship between the absolute humidity, relative humidity, specific humidity, dew point in relation to dry bulb and wet bulb temperature. I mean, when dry bulb and the wet bulb temperature is same, but the, you know, the, the gas is said to be saturated and it cannot, um, the gas is said to be, uh, said to be saturated and it, can, it may not absorb more, more, it is incapable of taking any more uh, ingredient to inside it and it does it is it does not absorb any moisture uh, content anymore so this temperature is a dew point relative humidity at this point is in the same with the relative humidity 100 percent uh, where do temperature same is the, the dew point and the correct dew point is a temperature at which the both uh, the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature are same So we will um, a psychometric uh, method in what instrument psychrometer use Martivi. This is how the psychrometer looks like. So the visual representation This is the swing. So these are the two thermometers. One is dry bulb thermometer, another is wet bulb thermometer. So the wet bulb thermometer is usually covered with a wick. You can see here. So you have a two thermometers. Visualize Martbodo. The glass casing inside which you have a two thermometers one is wet bulb thermometer one is dry bulb thermometer so the wet bulb thermometer is covered with a, the bulb of which is been covered with a wick which is wet with a liquid so dry bulb thermometer this is the swing or the handle this swing joint which is connects to the glass casing so this picture is not easier right Did you got the diagram from um, the instrument? So it consists of the two thermometers. Uh, one is dry bulb and one is um, uh, wet bulb thermometer. So wet bulb and similar to the dry bulb uh, thermometer, but uh, the bulb is covered with a wick which is wet with a liquid. So the whole setup uh, will give you dry bulb and uh, wet bulb ther uh, temperature thermometer. So now gas pass that. A drying medium will pass Mardaga. So the temperature is being um, recorded by these two thermometers, these two thermometers, and it will be um, read in this, um, will be read in this um, psychometric um, psychrometer, dry bulb pump, um, wet bulb 
temperature. This driver one variable temperatures are being then used in a psychometric uh, chart in order to um, measure the humidity. So this is how. So the dry, psychometric is normally used um, for the driver between uh, driver temperature between zero to hundred degree centigrade. Madhya even marked away. So if a driver temperature bandi the wet bulb temperature bandi the. So if a twenty five dry bulb temperature and the vertical line half beko wet bulb temperature on the twenty four and the bande illi slanting line half beko. A very do line l meet agato. Corresponding horizontal lines will give you the specific humidity. इतर ना वो ह्यूमिडिटी ना मेशर मार्ट दो दो बाय यूजिंग द साइको विद द साइक्रो मीटर सो नेक्स्ट वील लर्न अबाउट द ड्यू पॉइंट मेथड सो ड्यू पॉइंट मेथड अली वी यूज सम ऑफ द केमिकल सॉल्ट लाइक लिथियम क्लोराइड टू अब्सोर्ब द मॉइस्चर um, um, on absorption, uh, the salt uh, carries an electrical charge. The electrical charge is proportional to the uh, is proportional to the moisture content in a uh, drying medium that is a gas. So it is also called as electrical hygrometer and used to measure the absolute humidity, partial pressure of the vapor, and the dew point. Just have a look at uh, the diagram here. You have a temperature recorder and the thermometer is being connected to the temperature recorder. The bulb is being enclosed in a metal tubular cell. Here, in the dew point method instrument, I am telling. The bulb is being enclosed in a metal tubular cell, and it is being covered um, covered with a glass. And the glass cloth is being um, glass cloth, and the glass cloth is being saturated with a um, um, with a salt uh, like lithium chloride, which is capable of absorbing the moisture. So, and on to the top of this um, the glass cloth, you have a uh, the winding of the uh, double silver wire and you have a uh, the power um, supply battery so this is the setup setup in the thermometer record the temperature recorder there which is being connected to the the bulb the bulb is inside the metal tubular cell so the metal tubular cell is uh, um, on the outside of the metal tubular cell you have a glass cloth which is wet with a uh, lithium chloride on to that you have a double uh, winding of the silver wire Onto the glass, uh, glass, uh, glass uh, cloth, and the glass cloth is being uh, saturated with a um, lithium chloride, and the silver winding on the there is a um, uh, glass cloth, and the power supply is uh, uh, is there with a the winding. So working in the as we know that electrical and the conductivity uh, between the wires is proportional to moisture in the salt. A moisture and drying medium and moisture and a pass are dry metal tube. Um, uh, metal tube mel wire depending on the moisture content in the drying medium there will be conductivity uh, conductivity in between the wires the conductivity between the wires agutte so low moisture content is conductivity and there is a flow of a current so low moisture content is low uh, current agutte and the temperature rise of the cell and low current and that there is a temperature rise of the cell is also low and also heating is also low and vice versa Higher moisture content is a higher flow of current. There is a higher temperature rise of the cell, and um, the, the heating is also high. And um, thereby, there will be a temperature recorder in the um, instrument. So, whatever the thermometer we have enclosed in the metal bulb, um, on passing on to the, it will pass smart the vent and that guy. Even moisture in the drying medium, it will be absorbed. By the saturated lithium chloride. Okay, so a moisture content, ah, uh, absorption, ah, that moisture, um, ah, uh, an absorption of the moisture, ah, uh, the electrical conductivity will takes place uh, by the, ah, uh, um, the silver wire. So the electrical conductivity is proportional to the moisture conduct, ah, uh, moisture content in the drying medium. So higher the moisture content, higher the flow of current, higher the, um. Higher the heat, uh, uh, higher the uh, uh, higher the temperature, and it will be recorded in the temperature recorder, and vice versa. It can be um, the, and the temperature bulb will measure the uh, the temperature, and uh, this temperature will corresponds to humidity um, measured by the psychrometric chart in the 
ನಾವು ಮೆಷರ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೆಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೆಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ವರೆಗೂ ಮೆಷರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸೈಕೋಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೈಕ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಏನು ಆ ಚಾಯ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಏರ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಅ ವೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಬಲ್ಬ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಸೈಕೊಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಯು ಹವ್ ಗಾಡ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ದ ವೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಬಲ್ಬ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮೆಜರ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಸೈಕ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಹೈಗ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಬೋತ್ ನನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸಿ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಐವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇಟ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಗ್ರೋಮೀಟರಲ್ಲೂ ನಾವು ಮೆಜರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿನ ಸೈಕ್ರೋಮೀಟರಲ್ಲೂ ಹೈಗ್ರೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿಕ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಹೈಗ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮೆಜರ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ದ ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೈಕ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಸೈಕ್ರೋಮೀಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮೆಷರ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವ್ಯಾಪರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವೇಪರ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿನ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ವೇಪರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವೇಪರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ದ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಅಕರ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ದ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಡ್ರೈ ಬಲ್ಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಟ್ ಬಲ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಡ್ಯೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಕರ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏರ್ ಆಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿ ಸೊ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಹಾಸ್ಮಾಸಸ್ ಯಾವುದಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಾಸ್ಮಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವಾಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪರೇಷನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಿಶರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಸೊ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಿಶರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಏರ್ when a wet bulb and dry bulb and uh, dry bulb psychrometer is read to determine relative humidity when 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 dry bulb will read the lower than the wet bulb or the two thermometer will read the same the wet bulb uh, read the lower than the dry bulb none of this the answer is c what are the units of measuring the uh, uh, humidity the question could also ask been asked uh, as um, the what are the units of measuring the humidity this can be you um, a weight of water per, per unit weight of air or you measure mat bodu athwa it can be expressed in grams of water vapor per kilo grams of um, g uh, grams per kg as we express mat bodu but it
the dew point method of measurement of the humidity i hope you have understood from this session and the questions asked uh, the questions could be asked in this session about the definitions of uh, absolute humidity bage kelbodu relative humidity the, de uh, the define anta kelbodu absolute humidity we have this so ab either on the uh, e two two marks each age kelbodu absolute humidity specific humidity andre eno density of vapor andre eno relative humidity andre eno idr bage questions irbodu so and also the questions will be on the different methods of um, uh, measurement of uh, the moisture so psychometric method what are different methods of moisture measurement of gases and the no kelbodu that could be a question and uh, explain in detail the psychometric uh, me metric method of uh, psychometer method of uh, measurement of humidity anta kelidaga you have to write this diagram along with the explanation if it is for 10 marks and the dew uh, the, uh, the question could also be asked about uh, the dew point method of uh, measurement of uh, humidity could be asked so these are the possible questions which could be asked uh, on this session in your exam i hope you have understood from this session be learning thank you